you look back at Lewis Gordon when he was 17 years old, and it's obvious he wasn't a typical 17-year-old. One can only guess the reasons he left home or what the young Jewish lad was thinking at the time. But one thing is now clear. When he made his way west about 60 miles by rough roads to Statesville, North Carolina, with a horse and a wagon and a few dollars in his pocket. You know, when Granddad was out picking up scrap out in the countryside, he got to know a lot of people. From so many people I've met in town uh, and, and in this industry, that he was just a vivacious, friendly gentleman. He quickly made friends in this predominantly rural Protestant community. When my father-in-law passed, there must have been 500 people there thanking us for him. Got them through the depression or recessions or anything without a word. You don't pay me back. This is what I want to do. Hard work, family, religion, and community service were at the top of Al Gordon's list of life values. If you've been challenged by your father, particularly, you're going to do well. From his father, Harry, through Lewis, these values were to be passed down from generation to generation. My dad and his brothers were my role model. Down now to the fifth generation. To always be the best person you can be and always try the hardest that you can be. And you can make the world a better place. You don't have to go across the world. You can make a world a better place where you are. The Gordons and the Cutes go back a long way. Most people know America as the land of opportunity, especially an immigrant like Dr. Coutte coming to the U.S. wanting to be a citizen. Where was I going to practice? Leaving uncontrollable situations from his old country, the Palestinian wanted a fresh start. And I, I needed to be accepted as a good doctor that was rendering the best service to this community. Dr. Kutte graduated with an OBGYN degree from the American University of Beirut. The doctor and his newlywed, Anne, chose to live their American dream in Iredell County. I want not only to prove to them that I did better work than what people were accustomed to, but I, that I was going to do it in spite of these anonymous letters. A few town leaders opposed the doctor and his family permanently settling in Statesville. The Palestinian now felt alone. And so my dad in his conversations with Mr. Gordon, um, I think got a lot of guidance from Mr. Gordon. And Mr. Gordon said, well, you know, I've, I've got some office space down here on North Center Street. And Dr. Kate gladly accepted Lewis's offer. However, a forceful local leader opposed to Dr. Cote settling here in Statesville sought to buy out his rental contract from Lewis Gordon. But Lewis refused the challenge. Mr. Gordon was true to his word, and that's what started the friendship. Mr. Lewis Gordon has replied, I have shaken the hand of this young man and promised him that the building will be ready and he will be in this building. While their two cultures clashed in another part of the world, here in Statesville, North Carolina, a Jew and a Palestinian were forging a friendship which continues between their two families up until the present day. My father delivered the children of most of their families, so that connection is even stronger. These two, working together, saw what was in each other's heart. And in doing so, it felt right for themselves and what was right for the community. 65 years ago, it has evolved into this tremendous relationship, a relationship that I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. Mm -hmm.